This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. All right, so the, the men of the Lord, we, we receive the, the mercy of the Heavenly Father. All right? I don't want to rock this out, man. Okay, because we're doing the work of the Lord, man. Coming out to the highways and the byways, prophesying, standing boldly for the name of the Lord, prophesying uh, the downfall of this place known as America. All right, uplifting our people, the one third, bringing them back, grafting them back into that fold. We have received mercy and we faint not, man. All right, so the Lord is going to continue us, have us keep pushing this word until until uh, he, he's ready to take us off the streets, man. To that time of Jacob's trouble. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the most high deceitfully, man. All right, because that's what they do in y'all churches, man. All right, they, they handle the words of the heavenly father deceitfully. All right, they do it for, for, the, for filthy lucre's sake, just to get a, another dollar in their pockets. All right. That's handling the words of the Heavenly Father deceitfully, man. With trickery and treachery. But by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the Most High. All right, so for all you people that, that think everything is about love, that the Lord is about love, well, prove it. Everybody who says that can't prove it, man. And you know why you can't prove it? Because this word is a two-edged sword, man. Okay? You can't prove that according to the scriptures that the Lord loves everybody. That's not in the scriptures, man. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. All right? So uh, all of the heathens, the other nations, the two-thirds of the children of Israel, all right? Our gospel, gospel means good news. So to you, it might sound uh, mean and hateful, but to us, it's good news, man. That's gospel. That's the gospel. All right. It says, but it is here to them that are lost. All right. And whom the power of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. All right. So y'all, these spirits that are here on this earth today, back when the Lord was walking the earth, then you didn't believe he was walking. You don't believe that was him then. Okay. Because y'all, y'all lack faith, man. You people have no faith, no, uh, no believing spirit. That there's a power that rules this earth, man. It says he blinded the minds of them which believe not, man. And when your mind is blinded, it affects everything. All right? If your mind decides it can't see something, no matter what you do, you can go to the best, uh, best doctor, best optician, if I'm saying it correctly, if that's the right term. You know, you can go wherever you want, but if your mind is blinded, you're not going to be able to see the truth, man. And that's because, the, like the Lord said, man, he blinded y'all because y'all believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who was the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Yahweh Shai and Mashiach the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Yahweh Shai's sake, man. So we preach the true words of the Heavenly Father for the, for the elect and for the Lord's sake, man. All right? So when we come and tell you that these other nations are going into captivity or that America is about to be destroyed, if you don't believe what we're telling you, that's because the Lord blinded you from that. The Lord blinded you so you wouldn't see the truth. All right. The Lord said he's going to return like a thief in the night, man. All right. And so only those who are watching and praying who, who follow in the scriptures are going to be able to bow down and give reverence to the heavenly father. All you other, other, other people are going to be astonished. You're going to be appalled. You're going to be dismayed. Some of y'all are going to die instantly. All right? That, that's the scriptures of the Lord, man. All right? Back up to three. But if our gods will be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, man. To, 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 I know I am. To, to, two thirds of our people going to be destroyed, man. You know, and, and see, that's that's the spirit of the Lord, man. It's coming back. It's coming to this place with a vengeance, man. It's coming to this place with wrath, man, and fire and destruction. All of those things are coming to America. All right. And, and, and see, you know, they, they'll walk by and, and, you know, that might have been sarcastic stuff, but that's the spirit of the Lord, man. He said, you're doing it. You're doing a good job. Slock it. He said, you're doing a good job. I know I am. 
You know, I don't want to rock this eye. He, you know, the Lord, uh, I don't need you to commend my good works. All right. That's that's up for the Lord to see, man. You know, but hey, I, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? I'll take it even though once again, and see that that that's <laughs> the Lord brings an example every time. He don't even know what I'm talking about. And he says, you're doing a good job. You know what I'm saying? But it's here to him, them that are lost, man. You know? Now, now if I would have told him his condemnation and what's coming to him, he probably wouldn't have thought I was doing a good job then. Second Corinthians 4 and 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power, excellency of the power, may be of Yahweh and not of us. All right, so we're doing, we're we're not worried about these earthly treasures. All right, because the the true vessels of the Lord, we're gonna receive our riches on the other side, man. Okay. He says, store store not your uh, treasures in, in in earth, man. We are troubled on every side. Yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, man. So the Israelites are troubled on every side, man. All right, last hired, first fired. Live, got to live in uh, the, the ghettos and the, the corners and the rotten dung hills of a society. Constantly uh, sentenced to prison. You know, who, who, who's 90% who's of the prison's houses full of, man? And yeah, two-thirds of our people rightfully deserve that because they're wicked. But nonetheless, these so-called white people ruling this society, you know, they're the ones who put them there, man. This is this is all a part of the wicked demonic scheme, man. It says we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, man. Or are we not in despair because we got these scriptures, man? You know, Isaiah uh, says. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, uh, knowledge, and knowledge and stability shall be, uh, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability at our times, man. All right? So we're not in despair because we know the things that have come, which is, which is the greatest gift that you can receive from the Lord, man. Knowing what's coming to this place and how you can spiritually prepare. What, what, what greater gift is that? Besides the gift of faith and, and our Lord sacrificing himself for his children and his brethren. What greater gift, man? Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed, man. All right? So we persecuted daily. You know what I'm saying? We uh, Oh, good good, uh, good plug. Uh, that movie, Detroit. All right? So it's, it's supposed to be about the, uh, the Detroit riots, uh, I believe, back in the... Maybe the 70s. I'm, I may be wrong on the year. But... Nonetheless, it was about the uh, Detroit riots, you know, between uh, Jake and Esau. You know what I'm saying? And man, they they had they didn't they the riots. I feel like they could have showed more more throughout. But nonetheless, they had like some vivid scenes in there, man, about some of the things that Esau used to do, man, and how Esau got off the hook. You know, and the same thing happened. And it's so funny, man, because well, it ain't funny at all. But it's so it's so ironic that the cops in there. You know, I don't want to blow it for y'all. But the cops in there were doing the same things they're doing now, man. You know, and of course, uh, they get they get away scot-free, man. You know, but th that's because the Lord has punished us now. But he, we're going to have our vengeance and the Lord shall have his first, man. Zechariah 11 and 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. All right? So our possessors slay us, man. They persecute us and, 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 uh, and, and they, they do those things, man. But they hold themselves not guilty when they go into these courts. All right? They hold themselves not accountable for the actions that they did. They try to lie and twist and be sneaky and crafty and get up out of it. You know what I'm saying? But that, that's not the spirit of the Heavenly Father, man. That's not the spirit of the Lord. And that's how you know that that's not the Lord's spirit. And that's not our spirit. We get this in Romans. This is Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high, man. All right. So, we, you know, Jake, two thirds of Jake can be wicked, man. But even still, the, the wickedness of Esau is about to overcome people like a flood, man. About to overcome these people like a flood.
Oh, let me just keep going. And if then children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Hamashiach. All right, so we're joint heirs with the Heavenly Father, man. All right, the 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 righteous people to receive the king, the kingdom, man. All right, so the, the children of Israel, the one third, are joint heirs with the Heavenly Father, man. But the the rest of these these people aren't. like see our, our, our people constantly uh walk around not understanding who they are you know understanding that the lord is a so-called black man jesus christo el negro no blanco man so uh, so-called jesus christ who you even call jesus christ is a so-called black man coming back to to save the children of israel man But you people won't believe it because, uh, let me, matter of fact, where is that? That's the spirit. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. All right? It's better to go to the house of mourning right now. You, you people are in the house of feasting, man, the house of mirth. You know, y'all celebrate wicked holidays like January uh, 1st, New Year's. Y'all in the house of mirth, man. Last night partying it up. All right, and the Lord, just like y'all, everybody uh, proposing and all of this wicked nonsense, but just like the days of Noah. Let me see if I can find that. This is uh, Matthew 24 and 38, 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, man, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the son, the coming of the Son of Man be. All right. So just like last night, everybody was out uh, partying it up for uh, celebrating a, a Roman deity, a pagan holiday. All right. Y'all, y'all got turned up last night, drinking. People proposing like they crazy, thinking it's such a miraculous time. All right. But th that flood's about to overtake this place, man. That flood of fire. Let me get that again. Matthew 24 and 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the, son the coming of the Son of Man be. All right? So the Lord is going to come back as a thief in the night, man. That's how he's going to return. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving into marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, man. All right. And just like the apostle last night, apostle Ramlob said last night um, on a live stream, the Lord shut up that ark, man. You know, the Lord shut up the ark. Noah didn't sit up and uh, pull some strings up to close up the ark, man. The Lord, the, as soon as the Lord had his prophecy fulfilled, he closed the gates of the ark, man. And that's the same things that was about to come into this place, man. And those arts gonna be them chariots that the elector gonna be on. And all the rest of y'all gonna be down here in this fire, man. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So y'all blind to these things, man. All right? And you know the crazy thing the Lord said, and knew not until the flood came. All right, because what's crazy is Noah was prophesying for 120 years. All right, so technically y'all knew, you just didn't listen, man. The Lord blinded y'all from here and then. All right, so does He's gonna do the same thing again? He's gonna do the same thing again, man. Uh, this is back to Ecclesiastes seven and four. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. But the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth, man. He says the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. Mourning because what's what the things that have been done to the children of Israel. All right? Mourning because we under the foot of our enemies. All right? But what, what do he say? The heart of the fool is in the house of mirth. 
So everybody who went out last night and celebrated, y'all in the y'all y'all fools, man. Y'all in the house of mirth. Mirth means good tidings and celebrations and festivities. Alright? But but what were the men of the Lord doing, man? On live streams, prophesying the downfall of this place, giving reverence to the Heavenly Father. Alright? But you people don't believe in a higher power, man. You people don't believe there's a Lord. You people don't believe that who you eagerly call God and Jesus Christ is about to come rain down fire on this place. Y'all don't got no faith, man. The Lord deprived y'all of that. Y'all, y'all, instead of getting, y'all want Christmas gifts, abominable pagan gifts, instead of the gifts of the Lord, man, which is faith. All right. So, and you, you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics without faith, man. Y'all are just vile creatures, man. And that's why two-thirds of y'all got to be laid to rest. Y'all in that house of mirth, man. And you know, I don't even be on social media, but uh, like two weeks ago, I decided, you know, let me get on social media. And what's going on? The same things that were going on before, man. Uh, uh, vanity. Uh, giving, uh, giving worship to... Uh, idol gods these women wearing weave and wake makeup all the time you know what i'm saying the, these men being foolish trying to make make them happy all the time trying to get trying to look good for the world man what what what, what is that profit you man what gain is there in that getting a piece of ass you know what i'm saying y'all y'all so happy with the small things that esau gave you that you don't even want to understand the things that the Heavenly Father is going to give you, man. Now, what the things that the Lord has is true mirth, man. True riches. True power. But my, my, my phone look like it's dying. Aki. Um, Aki. So with that, I'm going to say, call a lawyer like a howl by a shami howl shy. Mashin ya kapala haza kwanyam shaw ya shala. Shalom wa kasala ha bakiyar. Shalom wa ha blakhag wafiyam. All right, that's all praise to the heavenly Father who deserve all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the elect pushing this word in sincerity and truth. And much love to those few sisters listening in humility. Shalom to the elect.